Strange Dreams number three. And, yeah. So, I'll start this one. This dream, in particular, was just another... It was just more creepy than it was, you know, like, bizarre or odd or anything. It was just kind of a creepy kind of dream. Well, it starts off with me just randomly walking down a street. Pure darkness all the time. Nothing really going on. Nothing... And I don't even know what street I'm on, to be honest. I don't know if I'm in my own hometown or or in a different town altogether or city altogether. I mean, the, nothing's really specific about this street except for being in darkness and, you know, barely. And the only thing that's really lighting up every so often is the street lamps and everything. But, yeah, I'm walking down pure darkness. I'm walking down the street, a sidewalk, and... I sudden get this suddenly urge that I'm being followed or being watched by someone. You know, you people have get got get this kind of feeling in real life, and it's kind of weird and it's kind of unusual that we can kind of sense when we're being looked at and we can kind of sense when we're being watched or followed. So yeah, suddenly I get this <coughs> feeling or feeling of being watched, being followed by someone, and I turn around and not that far away from me, like maybe a good whole two or three, or maybe maybe further, maybe like a two, like maybe five foot away from me, maybe not that far, I don't know, but a good a good ways away from me. There's some guy standing like this with a hood on, and he's under kind of. A little bit under the street light, but enough that it's still kind of in the shadows. And his face is completely obscured by shadow. And every time you try to focus on his face with whatever light there was, it was always blurry, unfocusable. You couldn't see anything. And I realized this, and I kept walking, like, you know, fast-paced walking a little bit, trying to get a, my, get a good distance away from this creep person whoever this was and every time I look back he was always the same distance away from me standing in the same exact thing where you could tell he was staring at you but his hood was kind of like way down like that so every time I stopped looked behind there he was and it was always near a light but not enough to see his face and if there was enough light to see his face that you couldn't see his face like I said it was all blurred out like it was weirdly blurred out and just kept walking walking and every time he was there behind me good distance away nothing and then all of a sudden he wasn't there one time I near the end of this dream he wasn't there at one time and I started freaking out not knowing what what happened what was going on thinking I was gonna get jumped or murdered or anything and I just got this sudden realization sudden fear and then I felt a tap on my shoulder all of a sudden right behind me and I turn around and I guess, I think I, and he's right there, pretty much, right exactly there, right in front of me, still can't see his face, it's complete shadow blur, and it scared the shit out of me, I, I think I jumped back in the dream, and boom, woke up, so, yeah, strange, creepy dream, it really, I don't know if it had a utter, or a ulterior meaning to it, or mo you know, I don't know if it m meant anything. Not entirely sure. So, if you think there's a meaning to this dream, and you're kind of curious, or you know, you like you're an expert at what dreams mean, or something, or you know, you kind of know basics about what dreams could mean, possibly mean. You can tell me down in the comments what this dream could mean, because I honestly have no clue. 
except for maybe theories that I'm, maybe I'm afraid of being followed, afraid of being stalked in real life. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the maybe that's the point of the dream, but who knows? So yeah, that was it. It's a creepy ass dream, and yeah, I'm gonna go. See everybody later.